If there's a single word that describes everything Reba McIntyre does, it's diverse. She's had country hits and dance hits, she's acted on television and in movies, she's made us cry, and she's certainly made us laugh. You've been reba And then she's made us all sit back and go, Hachi mama! We promise. The number one moment on this unforgettable Reba Moments video is not what you're expecting. Nope. We're gonna put the dress at number seven. In 1993, McIntyre wore this dress to sing Does He Love You at the CMA Awards. She thought it was a little more filled in than it was, but maybe she should have known better when Chris Christopherson nearly fainted and her father asked if it was on backwards. Reba had a unique childhood that involved helping her father castrate bulls, but don't get confused. Fiction. I never castrated a bull. I would uh, you know, hold the bucket for daddy, but I never, I, I gave the shots. The lesson stuck. Her music career didn't truly get rolling until 1984 when she took control away from all the men at her record label. Think she told them that story about the bowls first? What makes Reba great is she can be both strong and beautiful, often in one great music video. Her vid for Fancy checks in at number five. It's an all-timer, and it really kicked off her acting career. Let's go there for number three. If you haven't seen Reeves and Tremors, you're missing out. She played gun-toting Heather Gummer, and she wasn't shy with a rifle or a flare gun. Magazine. Yeah! At three, it's this gem from 1995. You Keep Me Hanging On was a top five hit on the US Billboard Hot Dance Club charts. Number two is the TV show. There were six seasons of Reba on TV and we loved all of them. Her deadpans as Barbara Jean did something ditzy with comedic gold, but that's not to say she didn't have her own charm. Hey, look at this. A mouse, how terrifying. Woohoo! Gotcha, Van! You've been reba Rock on, Van. Rock on. And finally, number one is how Reba bounced back after the 1991 plane crash that killed eight members of her band. She dedicated her For My Broken Heart album to them, but the most touching moment came in April when she scored the Female Vocalist of the Year win at the ACM Awards. An emotional McIntyre accepted and received a one minute long standing ovation after this. Listens for my eight buddies. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and be sure to check back every Tuesday for more unforgettable country moments.